Android just rolled out a really cool new safety feature that could be really important and be very helpful if you get into an accident or have an emergency happen. So this is available on Android 8 and newer phones. This isn't exclusive to Pixels. It's not exclusive to phones that just came out in the last year or two. This is Android 8 or newer, and it doesn't require an update. It's something I guess they opened up on the back end. Of course, my phone just fell off in my mic. But it's open on uh, the back end. So here's basically how it works. So if you make an emergency call or text using, like, you know, the emergency one built in the phone, and first responders or whoever you're talking to on the other end, whether it's a dispatch or a police officer or a medical officer or whatever, they can request to initiate a live video call so that way they can see like what's going on on your end. So that way they can show up, see how unsafe, what the emergency is, how bad things are, if, you know, what, whatever it is, whatever the scenario is. It says they designed it to work during an emergency call or text. If the responder determines that seeing the scene would be helpful and it's safe to do so, they can send a request to your device. It'll pop up with a prompt on your screen so you can accept it or not. You don't have to. I mean, it's probably in your best interest to, but you don't necessarily have to. So the choice is in your hands and it's secure and it's encrypted. So that way you know that your privacy and what happens in the intimate moments of that phone call are secure that other people are not going to be seeing those and have access to it or worried about anything else. So basically a prompt pops up on your screen and then you accept it or, or you don't. So I really like this. I think this is really cool. I am a former first responder. Uh, I was in the military for 17 years. I was uh, security forces, which is kind of the equivalent of military police. So done my share of responding to emergencies, but I also used to be an EMT. I was a state certified EMT intermediate and I have been <laughs> on, on calls and accidents. I used to work at dispatch desk. So this is something that could be very helpful because a lot of times whenever you get into an accident, if somebody calls in, it's like, hey, I ran into somebody here, or this and that's going on, or people don't have the terminology. People are in shock. People are in distress. You could be the one injured. You may not be able to give or have the vocabulary to try and explain necessarily what's going on. So being able to have somebody who's a qualified medical emergency professional on the other end of that line, being able to go, okay, here, I'm going to send you a prompt, hold your phone out, let me see what's going on. So that way they can better give eyes and ears to the people that are showing up so that they can be prepared and ready to handle something. I mean, sometimes this stuff, a matter of minutes, could be life and death or further emergency. Maybe they need to call an emergency helicopter to come out. If you're showing up, it's like, okay, vehicular accident, two cars involved, whatever. But if you get on the phone with somebody who calls in and they're like, hey, I'm bleeding really bad. I've got this going on. Like, here, turn it on. Like, oh, wow, that's really bad. Yeah, we're going to send the emergency helicopter right now. It's going to get there a few minutes behind the ambulance. Or sometimes when ambulances go out, they may not even have a paramedic on them. It could just be an EMT intermediate, EMT basic. I don't know what different department's policies are, but to make sure that you get the level of service and the level of emergency care that you need in that moment, this I think could be a very beneficial thing. And it's I, I, I'm glad to see this. This is not a feature drop. This is not something, it's not an app you need to install. You know that it's secure and it's done right through Android. And I hope that Apple adopts something like this too. We've been seeing so many different things now. We've got the emergency SOS phone calls. We've got the emergency SOS satellite with some of the different phones with the satellite emergency calls or even text messages in some shape or form. So things are getting better, especially in coverage in bad areas. Like we've got things like Starlink floating around in the lower atmosphere where we don't have T-Mobile towers in the middle of nowhere, right? And sometimes you need help in the middle of nowhere. So as a former emergency responder, as somebody who used to do this stuff, as somebody who has an understanding, thinking about this stuff, like, yeah, that's that's really cool. It's not just like OnStar in your car that you got to pay a subscription service for, and then it's just somebody there talking to you. This is where, I mean, you call somebody, you call 911, or you call, use the emergency SOS thing or emergency phone call, and then they can send you the link. Well, it's not really even a link. It's a pop-up, which is nice. So it just pushes through. It's a push-through pop-up. Tap on it. Go ahead and activate it. And then you can go ahead and have this live video call. And I, I think it's great. And again, all the way back to Android 8 or newer. So if you're still rocking a BlackBerry Key 2 with Android 8.1, you can avail yourself of this new feature. But I, I'm all about this stuff. 
anything that helps people stay on top of their health, stay on top of emergencies that can improve quality of life and get emergency assets and services where they need to be as quickly as possible to help people. I'm all about it. And I like the smartwatch stuff. I like the fall detection, the crash detection. And we already got a lot of these with the Pixels 2 and other Android phones. And the Pixels particularly because we've got fall detection, you've got crash detection, you've got emergency location service, satellite SOS. And this is going to deploy first in U.S. as well as select regions of Germany and Mexico. So it's not something that's going to be globally available yet. I hope at some point it is available globally. But at first, United States, Mexico, or at least parts of Mexico, I think is what it says, select regions of Germany and Mexico. So you guys and us guys were first. I hope maybe in the next year this will start rolling out to other places like Canada and UK, Japan. I, I think the more places that they can get this and the more robust uh, services that we have for folks carrying around smartphones who need help, who need emergency services, who need these things, I think it's a great idea. This is one of those things that I hope that Apple will also do something very similar. That would be great too to get them on board as well. So that way we can get more coverage out to people in these moments of need. But anyway, I just wanted to share this video. Nothing too crazy today, but I want to tell you about this new feature. It is online, rolled out, I think yesterday, Android 8 or newer, United States, select regions of Germany and Mexico, emergency live video. That's how it works. That's the stick. And that's pretty much all I got. So if you have any questions, comments, gripes, concerns, complaints, all that stuff, please, of course, go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys next time.